Hey everybody, what's up, what's going on? And today, when I was thinking about the video that I was gonna make, uh, I spent a lot of time kind of almost picking between a couple topics, almost uh, deciding, you know, thinking between like a story or like a different topic or a current event or like my thoughts on something. And then I kept thinking about, you know, these, um, these ideas that kept coming up from just uh, like kind of snippets about my life like both like a little a bit of an insight into my life uh, not necessarily a direct look at something in my life and then I kind of felt like I it, I was not I was thinking beyond video topics at this point and I was thinking about uh, some things that I need to do about my life and recently those th those topics that I've written down the things that like I have the video topics that are insights into my life I feel like now's like a good time to bring them forward and you know there's this idea of um like you can tell by the video the idea of hitting speed limit signs in your life and it's not necessarily a literal interpretation uh, literal interpretation to what that means uh the title and to what that applies to me and what i want to talk about today uh how th the story of the speed limit sign for me is in high school uh, i was at this time i was 17 years old Things were going pretty great at the time. Uh, I had this girlfriend that I was really like wrapped up in my head, and that like placed a lot of like self worth and identity in that. Um, I was uh, I'm trying to think. I think I was I, I I think I thought I was really cool at this point because it was at this point where I kind of just started, you know, like uh, drinking and like uh, smoking weed, and so I thought I was you know super cool because of that. Um, you know, and things were just going really well at the time, generally speaking, and I had a really uh, high opinion of myself, and a lot of it was stemmed from a little bit more of, like, this independence that I was not necessarily gaining, uh, you know, r right or wrong, but this independence that I was gaining just in life from doing these things, and it was great, and I was in this uh, car, this Jeep, that uh, it was 2000, and that, during this time, it was, this year that I hit the speed limit sign, when I was 17, it was 2000, and... What year was I 17? Four years ago. So I was 17 years old. So four years ago, 2016 to 2012. Wow, that took really... that took. Why didn't I just do the math? I was kept trying to think about... Anyway, so 2012. Um... Uh, this was 2012. I had a car that was two years old at the time. I still, I still drive that car, but uh, then it was two years old. You know, now it's six years old. And so... I was just, uh, I was in this car and everything was going right and it was, the car was new to me at this point, it was pretty new and I was driving down the road and I looked at my phone to text one of my friends and I was driving to school late and I was going to get away with this because of the way that my first teacher uh, counted tardies and absences and, and how much he liked me and I was kind of abusing that and I was going to get away with uh, arriving to school basically at the end of the first period just in time to be there, to be counted absent and uh, boom. I hit this uh, speed limit sign on. I look at my phone, and I veer off the road a little bit, and I didn't notice, and I hit the speed limit sign. The the right corner, the right front corner of my car hits the speed limit sign. The speed limit sign hits the top of my car, goes up and over my car, and I stop. And there's another car, and it stops too. And at this point, I'm now realizing the short term of this is I'm no longer going to get away with making it to class, and I'm gonna no longer have this vehicle. Maybe uh, I'm gonna, you know, get in trouble with my parents. And I was just thinking of all these things. It was uh, things were going so well, and I had set myself back by doing this. And uh, I was I freaked out, and I, I, they, I stopped. I got out of the car. The other car drove away. I waited for that car to drive away. I got in my car, and I drove off to school. And I was freaking out. I was adrenaline. I was just pounding the entire way all the way back to school and I got back to school I didn't shatter my windshield it you know it dented my front bumper and the top of um, where the where the windshield meets the like the middle part of the car it's a Jeep Wrangler so it's kind of a unique car shape in the how this works if you you know care about this the front you know bumper by the tire and then up on top it's a unique uh, kind of shape so it didn't smash my windshield easily could have gone through my windshield easily could have shattered the windshield but it didn't and after school that day uh, I, uh, I, anyway, I constructed this story that I say when I went off-roading with my friend, uh, and I did, we had to make an alibi for ourselves, but anyway, 
uh, yeah, I went all through this whole thing about how that happened, and the the concept of the speed bump not not applies to me being shitty and lying and getting out of that, uh, getting out of running over a speed limit sign, but it stems from things are going great, and all of a sudden, boom, you hit a speed limit sign, and the speed limit sign is not always something of your choosing, but in this case, particularly, it's you slipping up, you doing me pulling out my phone when I shouldn't have. And in most cases of the hitting the speed limit sign, it's something, you know, that you shouldn't have been doing, even though things were going great. It's just a little thing. Why does it matter? And I'm kind of, um, you know, I made a video earlier about when life gets into a rut and I didn't, uh, thinking back on it now, I'm trying, I'm really like, I'm analyzing the, the speed bumps in my uh, life. I mean, the speed limit signs in my life that I've hit and you know, you, you got to think about the times you pull out the phone, because when you think about the times you pull out the phone, you learn to pull out the phone less. And I'm just kind of been thinking about, uh, you know, how that applies to my current situation and you know, a couple of the things I've been talking about. And one of the things that I've been talking about at the very beginning of this video about, you know, writing all these things down and having these ideas that were, you know, kind of life um, you know, based. It was one of them that I wrote down was blocking out thoughts with podcasts slash distractions and music and stand-up uh, comedy radio station, just listening to other things in the background, background noise, TV channels, Netflix, YouTube, uh, you know, just things like that. Every, everything that you just watch or you're just consuming content, you know, even this video technically right now, which is a weird, exp just really another side note. Uh, it's a really weird experience for me, you know, both if you're, you know, if you create YouTube videos and if you just watch YouTube videos, because as someone... Like, I create YouTube videos in a way, uh, well, not in a way, I mean, I'm a YouTube creator, and so, like, I, I create these videos, and so they're, like, a creation for me, but to somebody else, it's just kind of viewing content, and that's weird, because I have that experience on the other side when I'm just viewing content, when I'm just sucking up, you know, four-hour-long Joe Rogan podcasts, and so... You know, you ha it's, it's that weird relationship in and of itself is weird, but, you know, I was just back to the, you know, the main story, thinking about, you know, blocking my thoughts off uh, recently with these things. I'm uh, a particular example that I was going to talk about for that video idea was, is I spend a lot of time in the car. Um, and that's uh, car, cars, showers, you know, all these times where you're just by yourself nothing else going on. They're great times, you know, for reflection and for really getting deep on your thoughts and, and, and just going through your mind through the folds of your brain about what you think because it's the time you get to spend alone and you're doing this activity so you get to totally check out. And uh, one of these times I have, I drive in my car from Chattanooga to Asheville every weekend and back. So I'm driving there and back every weekend. And so that's about, you know, six to eight hours in the car every weekend uh, just to and from, and I use that time a lot of times to listen to podcasts. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe the, these speed limit signs that I've been hitting in my life recently are, you know, not not because I've been blocking myself out and listening to podcasts, but because I haven't been. The reason why they haven't changed is because that's I think maybe what I've been doing. So I th I've been thinking about that a lot recently. I've been thinking about, you know, how I'm taking in uh, information and content, and how, you know, maybe I need to be changing. You know, the things I'm taking in right now, maybe I need to be spending more time looking over books, photography, artwork, um, you know, reading, uh, maybe watching different movies, not necessarily just consuming, you know, this Internet content that's constantly available at people's fingertips. I can constantly get, oh, I feel like watching Joe Rogan. Oh, there's nothing I haven't watched. Well, let me go to his back catalog, find something that I've never watched if the new episode isn't out yet. So there's really... You could do anything you want. Oh, Joe Rogan, you've seen everything literally. Oh, let's just go on Netflix and start a. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's just go on Netflix and start a, you know a TV show that you've never seen before. But that is excellent, and so it's just amazing all this content that we you know have at our fingertips, and that you know maybe I need to be changing up you know what the things that I'm consuming in order to take care of some of these speed bumps in my life, or to be more conscientious about you know why I'm hitting these things, and you know. Maybe the thing I need to talk about with, you know, the speed bumps in my life currently is I have uh, a big thing about me is I'm a, like a big cyclist. And recently I haven't been riding as much recently uh, since, you know, starting this Uber driving uh, business. And so not Uber, not not the driving, not Uber the business, but OK, I think you guys know what I meant there, but just got to make sure. So since, yeah, but since I've been Uber driving, I haven't really been uh, on the bike as much and I, and I need to fix that. And I 
keep wanting to make excuses for it or keep wanting to do stuff like that. So I think the thing that I need to do uh, today, uh, by the end of today, uh, no matter what, is to get a training plan going, so to say. Like, I already have one, like, with my coach, but when you just get off the wagon, you got to you gotta find a way to get back on, so to say. You just got to you gotta plan a way to get back on. You can't just jump right back in. But, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about these concepts of hitting speed limit signs in your life, in my life. It's uh, pretty interesting. I, thank you guys for watching if you've made it all the way this far. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I've earned your like at this point. Uh, if you guys uh, want more Modern Warfare Remastered, more of these commentaries, subscribe for more. But I'll see you next time. See you next time.